All right, welcome back everyone. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about packaging your project. So it is an executable file um, for PC and also for Mac. Uh, this is gonna be a PC, but I will allude to the processes for the Mac. So hopefully you can figure it out on your own and at least know what resources to look for. Uh, but the last thing I actually wanna do before I package it is create a button to allow us to um, escape the, uh, the program. So. I'm going to go to our um, level blueprint here. And the level blueprint is um, <clears throat> basically a, a space that you can control anything, like at the event of a begin play, if you wanted music to play, or, or if you wanted like your video monitors to loop and stuff, that's where you would do it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just right click and type the button escape, ESC for escape, right? Keyboard event escape. And then it's basically when it's pressed, drag that over and I'm going to look for quit game. And that's it. Compile this. And now when I hit the escape button while I'm in the game, um, it will escape and close the window, which is helpful. <laughs> First thing to note here is that uh, packaging does take quite a bit of time. So ensure that you've got the time to do it. It's almost better to even package it one time early on in your process just so that the initial packaging and, and um, uh, sequencing of, of all of the code is already run through once because the second, third, fourth, fifth, tenth time you package it, it goes much quicker than the first time. Um, so the way that we are going to package this is packaging it for Windows. Um, and the, the first thing to kind of note is that you need to make sure you have a software development kit installed on your computer. If you're packaging for Mac, you will also need um, the software development kit for Mac, which is called Xcode. So the way you know which version of the um, software development kit you need is you go up here to platforms. Now under iOS, you will see, um, the, uh, if you're using a Mac, you will see, um, it'll say Mac, I believe even. And then when you go down here, you'll see allowed SDK. And it will not say SDK version like this. It'll it'll say Xcode version 14 maybe or something like that. So uh, that's what you're going to need. And sometimes it's not the newest version. So if you've already got Xcode on your computer, you might have to remove it and install an older version. You can find older versions on, um, on the Apple website. If I just... Let's go Apple Xcode. Okay. Xcode Apple developer. And you can click on um, old versions right here. And then you'll have to sign in with your Apple ID information. And then you will see, um, you can filter by like Xcode. 14 maybe I believe 14 you know so you'll see the the uh, older versions right here I believe we're at 15 but it might be running on 14 or 13 so just make sure you have the version that um, is said under Mac packaging right here platforms it'll say SDK blah 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 you download that install it on your computer um, and make sure that that's the one that's actually running when you're, uh, when you're, when you're putting it on uh, your computer and you've got to actually put it in the folder, delete the old version, make sure that that's what is referenced, um, in your application setting. So you'll, you'll have to install it. Uh, and I believe there's a tutorial on YouTube, um, installing an old version of Xcode, but that's what you need to do in order to package it for Mac for PC people. It's actually a little bit more complicated, um, because you need to install uh, visual studio, um, and the one that we've been using for years is Visual Studio 2022, not the newest version. Um, so, <clears throat> so you'll search for Visual Studio 2022, and you will go ahead and um, download Visual Studio 2022. Once that's installed, um, You'll open it up. And then you go to continue without code. You'll have to, you know, you choose dark mode, I guess. There's a couple of other little steps here, but you'll come to this window after you install it. And you go to continue without code. 
And then we go close this. And it's tools. I believe it's customized, right? No. Get tools and features. And then this window will pop up. And from here, you're going to go to uh, Universal Platform Development here. And you're going to make sure you've got um, a few things installed. You want to make sure you've got C++ profiling tools, build tools, basically all of this stuff, Windows 11 SDK. Uh, and you can see that the number for the SDK is right here, 10.0.22, whatever that is. Uh, and it should kind of relate to... Um, the number that we see here 10.0.1 allowed sdk versions right here so we've got allowed sdk versions 10.0.0 through 10.9 and then what i've got installed right here is 10.0.1.86 okay so you want to match those up so whatever the version is if you're using this uh, software later on it, you're going to maybe have a little bit slightly different version um and then we're going to install the Windows SDK version for Windows 11. Um, I also have my Windows 10 version on here, uh, Unreal Engine installer. And then I do have the Android IDE support for Unreal Engine, which will also facilitate um, like working with the Oculus Quest and stuff like that. And then you click on Modify. Once that's done, it installs um, you know, some space. It takes up some space on your computer. Um, and then once that's all installed, go ahead and restart your computer. And once you restart your computer, uh, you will then um, open up your Unreal Engine file again here. And then we just go to Windows. Um, and you know what? You, you can also do, yeah, package project right here. Just believe packaging settings here as well. Hmm. Nah, it should be all good. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and click on Package Project. And then it's going to um, ask you to save it someplace. Of course, I always say save it. You know, you can see my folders are very organized here. Um, and then I'm just going to click on this and hit Delete because I don't want the old version. I'm going to select that folder. It'll create a folder for it in there. And then you'll see down here, uh, Packaging. And then we can go ahead and go Show Output Log. And... Mine will look pretty clean, I'm sure, um, and hopefully you don't have any issues, but this could take a bit of time for your first time running through the packaging process. Um, and then I will, uh, once it's all done, I'll come back and show you the result. All right, so looking at the output log here, um, it's a success, which is great. So there's going to be two different kinds of noises that you'll hear. It'll either be like a diddly dee or a you want the deedly deed. <laughs> That's the sign that your packaging is successful. So uh, once the packaging is done, you will be able to see it is an, uh, a file that you can open on, uh, on your computer here. So whether or not you um, package your project and got it to work, um, you want to create a video walkthrough perhaps of this, of this uh, for, for, for completion's sake. Um, the way you would do that if you wanted to do it through the engine is you would download software called OBS, which I am using right now, so I can't really show, I can't like record the screen that I'm recording with. Um, but you just go to obs.com and download the software and set it up so that it works on your computer. There are lots of tutorials showing you how to do so. Um, and then to, to get it to play full scale here, uh, you want to go play and then you want to go new editor window right here, save as necessary. Maximize the screen if you can. So get the screen as big as you can just by toggling it. And then wait for the shaders to be finished preparing before you start recording. Um, and if you hit the Windows key on a Windows PC, it, it 
takes you out of this the the display here and then you can go control your uh, obs and then come back in just click into the scene and you're there wait for the shaders to be done compiling before recording and you can walk through your scene And you can see because the compilers are not or the shaders are not done, I'm getting some some missing materials and stuff. So that's why we'll wait till it's all done. <clears throat> but then, yeah, do a little walkthrough for a minute or so, and um, and then save that, and um, that's gonna be fine uh, if you could not package it. If you can package it, of course, uh, run your packaged project and record that. And sometimes to get the sound to play, you have to click your mouse. And do a little walkthrough. If you've got a game controller, like an Xbox controller, it is a lot smoother. So that was with the keyboard and the mouse. Fire up the Xbox controller here. And you'll just walk through your play space. And that way, if you were unable to package the project, I can still see how nice everything looks. Yeah, looks good. So um, once it's all done, just then exit out and um, save um, your 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 uh, walkthrough, and you're you're good to go. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you very much.